Grand Rise in Israel, Shalom. Coming to y'all today. Uh want to share with y'all little footage. Give me one second. Yeah, so I was just following up with some uh, information I was bringing for video I had posted detailing about the three sons of Noah and uh, the difference between Hamites and Shemites. So a lot of people were coming on there with comments saying that I'm trying to divide the black man and this and that, you know, trying to hang on to this Hamite understanding. Yeah, so the, um, the bottom line of it was uh, in that video is detailing, I'm going to show where I got that information from, um, showing the difference between a Hamite and a Shemite. Hamites being Africans, spear chucking, bone in the nose, whatever you want to say. Uh, not Shemites, they're not Israelites. They can't grow the facial hair, the beards, the goatees, the dreads, the afros, etc., which identifies and shows that we're different than the Hamite. Yes, we fled into Africa and hid amongst them. Uh, fleeing prosecution from the Romans. Uh, so, no further, no further ado, I'm going to show you where this information came from and uh, where it all makes sense. Let me pull it up. Okay, yeah, so, see if you can bear with me. I'm trying, I just got this phone. I've got, got this new phone. All right, you can look this up for yourself. This is going to be a short video, but if you can read that, showing the difference between a Hamite and a Shemite. Now, as we go to the video, just bear with me. All praise to the Most High. Um, the last point, I'll, last point I'm going to make on this is the, uh, that Africans and Negroes are two different peoples. Um, you know, race and skin colour are really a red herring. Okay, it's 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 a, a kind of divisive lie that uh, has been put about, and I'm going to going to go into this a bit more in detail. Yeah, to, to separate people by perceived race is is a distraction. Okay, um, so. We all think that uh, all black people are the same, basically, but they're not. Africans and Negroes are different. They have a different skeletal structure, different skull shape. And, um, and one interesting thing is African people, real Africans, cannot grow hair like Negroes can. So African men cannot grow beards. Right? African women cannot grow afros. Right? It's, a, it's a, a very powerful thing if you, if you see real African women, you, you'll see that they've always got very, very short hair, because they literally they can't grow it. Um, very quickly, Adam was not the very first man. The Bible is only covering a period of, of time, which is about 7,000 years, the last 7,000 years of, of Earth's history. It doesn't cover before that period. There were people before that period, and the, and the, the, the first verses of uh, the, the Bible actually tell you that. If you, if you read it properly and you read it with the uh, translating the Paleo Hebrew, some Genesis of the words 1 and 27, are translated quite correctly. Genesis 2 and, and, uh, and 5, you know, 5 and 7. That it's all um, happening contemporaneously, but it's not. It's, uh, it's actually um, there's a, like a gap period in between the first two verses. So the biblical Israelites were black. Um, it says that uh, Ham, and this is according to the Zondervan Bible Dictionary. Uh, Ham was the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, they're separate people, um, but the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, Canaanites. So it's telling you there that, uh, again, the, the Egyptians and what, were, what became the Africans were black people. Um, so going through the Bible, I'm not going to go through all of these, but uh, yeah, Joseph in the Bible was, uh, was so much like an Egyptian that his own brothers didn't recognize him. So, obviously, he looked like an Egyptian, so, you know, the Israelites were black people. Moses was also an Israelite, but he was raised under the nose of Pharaoh, um, so, you know, he'd kind of stand out if he was a, a white guy. Um, 
and uh, he was also mistaken as an Egyptian by the, uh, the daughters of the uh, priests of Midian. And also Moses' sister, Miriam, was uh, turned white as a punishment. So there's, there's a lot more biblical references that, that tell you that the, the Israelites were actually black people. But uh, yeah, you can, you can like, go through it in the Bible. And um, uh, through, throughout the, uh, the, what's called the Renaissance period, all of the uh, artwork was replaced throughout Europe. But uh, because Russia, um, well, it was a kind of insular society at that time, um, Renaissance didn't get to Russia. So um, you can go online and, uh, and search for Russian icons. Let and me, you'll find that. Let me inter I had to interrupt that uh, going into some more detail. I want to bring forth something else pertaining to that. Detailing uh, about Ham and Shem. And it's so ironic, you know, the killing up in Dallas, uh, Botham, Shem, John. Nobody's paying attention to the, the uh, prophetic signs that the Most High is um, showing us out here. With uh, the fact being that Shem's middle name was Shem. You don't meet too many Negroes, anyone with the name Shem. It's prophetic that he would be sacrificed as a, a tool used to wake us up in these end times. But, you know, we steady hanging on our people to this Christianity, religion, that cross. And uh, making a bed for ourselves that there's going to be some serious punishment to deal with. Hold on one more time. Okay. Here it is. Took me a second to find this. Notice that when we were sent into captivity and when the bill of sales for Negroes was all displayed, it said Negroes for sale. It didn't say Africans. It said Negroes. Get it focused here. It did not say Africans for sale. It said Negroes. They started loading on bricks of uh, uh, ignorance throughout our time to keep us confused. We're the only race of people... Uh, that they continue to change the title of our who we are, meaning, you know, the Native Indians and the Mexicans and uh, Puerto Ricans, Mexicans uh, and Negroes, we're the only ones that they keep changing our identity, calling us African Americans, Mexican Americans, Latin Americans, etc. They want to keep you lost in this world. And if you think about it, all the children of Israel have gave, have been given a byword name or title by the Gentiles slash Edomites. That lets you know who's ruling over us. I'm going to find one more of these that are 
I had one that was real, real descriptive, which I was trying to bring forth, but I, I thought I had it saved into my, uh, my history, and I couldn't find it. Nevertheless, uh, I find myself going back and forth with brothers online. Uh, not so much going back and forth, but they, 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 they skip over the comments, which will answer a lot of the stuff that they come on there uh, uh, disputing. Like a couple of them talking about they from Africa and they got a beard or a goatee and everything. I'm like, dude, you're not a Hamite. <laughs> you, as a matter of fact, you got it worse than us did the fact that you over there in the land. Uh, yeah, it just just want to hang on to this this uh talk ignorance. Benefiting who? It's definitely not benefiting you. Believing and repeating that stuff. So with that said, um, I just wanted to make this short video. I'm gonna try to get more material. Like I said, I'm just getting a new phone. I'm figuring out how to work this thing. It's really nice. I like the uh, detail and the. Uh, uh, the pixels in the in the video and everything. Um, I'm attached to my, my my gadgets and everything, so I didn't want to let this one go. But it caught a virus or something. It was going, something was going on. I couldn't get no calls, no texts. Um, I could check emails and all that such, but I rarely check emails because I don't be expecting nothing from anyone. But um, yeah, just ponder over this. This is a quick little video. I'm gonna try to, as soon as I figure out how to work these gadgets, these new new ones, you know. I'll be presenting some more material and uh, hopefully there's some features on here that I can do something really nice with it as far as my presentations. With that said, I'm going to say uh, shalom to everybody. Y'all stay blessed. All praise to the Most High. I am. Shalom.